What's up? It's Daniel DK here at Aftershock 2022. I'm sitting backstage and I see this guy walk by and I'm like, dude, Zing, I got to talk to you. We got, uh, I don't know, royalty sitting with me. Thanks for taking a couple minutes to uh, bro down. I've, uh, yeah, I've always wanted to sit down with you. You've uh, been a figure in my my entire musical life. I've been listening to your music, so it's cool to. Thank you so much. I it's, appreciate it's cool that. to get a couple minutes, man. It's cool to be here. Uh, it's dude, this festival kicks ass. Man, you know what? This is my first time here, and the way they set this thing up, it's pretty amazing. And the, they set something like uh, like a hundred and fifty thousand people over the entire weekend. So that's pretty cool. It's a shitload of and people. And we get to open for Kiss tonight. So yeah, how what's not cool? I, I wore my finest threads for of the course. occasion. Hell yeah. Um, you know, you you showed up wearing the Dingbat shirt, and you know, I think I've been a life for Sam Hain forever. I gotta ask you about old shit. I want to know about like low die high and kind of being, from the way I perceive it, like born into. It had to fucking happen. You just all the conditions were right. It was like a tinderbox waiting to go off. All these people hanging together it's at the perfect age. Like, you, tell me about the early days, dude. You, you know, it's very interesting. It's like, you know, um, Lodi, Lodi, the town of Lodi bred all these like different musicians over the course of year, many, many years, right? And even the surrounding towns from Lodi, we had great bands. Uh, like the next town over was this band called the Rascals who in the 60s and early 70s were huge, Fuck yeah. right? And But it, it bred so many different um, of these early rock bands. And uh, they, they were really influences to a lot of us at the time, right? Yeah. Because we're all the shit now, but it's all good. Um, but uh, yeah, man, Lodi was a great town. Uh, it, it was a great scene. It was a great feeling to be there at the time and and see it all like just come about and just keep blossoming and right. then we all left yeah and then you all except fucked we up. all go back to lodi you know we go back to lodi lodi pizza you can't you, you got to go to lodi to get lodi pizza tell me about this slice tell me about this it's it's the perfect slice everything about it i have fans from all over the world if they come to new jersey for something they all go to lodi pizza you go in there, there's pictures of all of us up there, Glenn Danzig and Jerry Only and myself, everybody. So, you know, there's all shit hanging on the walls. So it's really cool. That's but the, awesome. but, but the best part is the pizza. So, so head back to Lodi, get a slice. Uh, dude, I, I, if you say it needs to be done, I will, dude. I'm, I'm a pie sli I'm I chase them. I go for the best slices. You got to do it. Okay, I'm doing Next it. Next time you're in New Jersey, you Fuck know, yeah. no matter where you're playing, Come to Lodi. Fuck yeah. Well, fast fast forward here. We're in fact, if you're around, you hit me up and I'll treat you. Dude, if we can hit Lodi Pizza together, that would be some dream come true shit. We'll What's do the it. move there? Plain? Plain. Yeah, that's the or move. Or pepperoni. You but know, don't get fucking No too pineapple. Yeah, don't we, get No, they don't crazy even with offer it. that. Don't get crazy well, with it. You gotta they're go real classic. Italians. They're, you know. It's like margarita, pepperoni at the craziest, that's right? It. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Let's keep it real. It's the exactly. real, real pizza lover shit. Exactly. Um, we're here in Sacramento. You're doing this like one-off Danzig show. Yeah. Uh, Glenn's got shit coming up. You do other shit. What's uh, what's it like to get together for like a one-off like this? What kind of like set list choices? You know, how much prep? It's it's. Well, cool. you know, we have a limited set, so we have to do basically the hits. You know. Yeah. Um, and we had a great rehearsal the other night. Uh, we we played. Uh, we did a string of dates back in May, and uh, they were one of the most successful runs that we've done really many many years and uh well the last time we did a full tour was in 2018 we went to europe and we did a you know a whole thing here uh and then of course pandemic hit and then last year we did uh cycle vegas yeah so uh but it's so good to be back again and playing with my friends which Fuck is yeah. great tommy victor obviously and and, and glenn so, uh, and then, you know, I keep busy. I got two other bands. Uh, we, uh, uh, my punk band from the early 80s, um, Morning Noise, we just had an EP come out, and that's on Cleopatra Records. And my other band, Black 29, which Glenn just drew us a logo for our album, that comes out on Cleopatra, I think, in February. So, uh, and with Morning Noise, Glenn originally drew the cover of our 45 that's that sick. came out in 1982. Dude, that's sick. So it's like, and, and so we re, re, uh, reformed this band with basically all the original members from 40 years ago. That's fucking so awesome. So coming out with new shit, and it's great. 
That's awesome. Is it going to be more Son of Sam shit? Uh, you know, without, I think without Todd Youth, um, I don't think so. And Davey Havoc, you know, he's off busy doing whatever he does with AFI and whatnot. And so I don't think so. It would be fun. It'd be dope. You know, you rest know? in peace, Todd. Absolute yeah. fucking legend. But that would be cool to, you know, not that you're not busy enough, right? No, I, I like to keep busy. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. You know, what's better than be, being busy playing music, right? Dude, that you, you got it. Man, I, 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 I got to emphasize it's so rad to talk to you. You saw everything as it happened. We're a part of so many things that changed my life. It, you you well, really had your toes in, in all the right shit for my you know, life. I, I, was, I love this. I was, I was lucky. You, you know, it's like you, you could sit there and go, well, um, people go, wow, so you're a pretty good musician. I go, no, I'm just lucky. You know, <laughs> right place, right time. Know. But you know what? It's a magic moment. It can't well, be recreated. Well, man. you know, when I was a kid, uh, listening to, obviously, one of my biggest inspirations was the original Misfits. And when I was, I, I saw them, it was around 1978, and Doyle came into high school because Doyle and I went from kindergarten through high school. He goes, hey, remember I told you my brother Jerry is in that band, The Misfits. I'm like, yeah. He goes, he says, you should come over. He goes, they're going to rehearse at my house tonight. I'm like, okay. So I'm this little kid. I walk in the garage. And they start playing. And the fucking heavens opened up. It was like the light came down. And I'm like, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to be in a band with that guy. Right there. Dude, that's the craziest, like, actualization moment well, ever. Well, I, I, I had to manifest something, so I, I did that, and uh, five years later, we started Sam Hain. That's fucking insane. You literally thought it into existence. You have to. I mean, that's... You know what? Think about it. What else you got? I mean, you know, they, they say they call it childlike faith, right? Because as a kid, you're always bugging your parents. I want this, I want this. Until you keep doing it until you actually get it, right? Right. And they give it to you just to shut you up. I think that's like kind of what the universe does. Because you keep thinking it and thinking it at some point. You know, it's like, hey, here you go. You know. Dude. So it, 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 it was really cool. But going back to the story. So if Doyle wasn't around, I would, there was, a, I lived in these apartments next to where Doyle and Jerry had their garage where the misfits rehearsed. And there was this, this garage that belonged to the apartments. And I would climb the fence and I would sit on the roof of the garage, which backed right up to their garage. And I would just sit there till like nine o'clock at night by myself, if none of my friends wanted to be around, to listen to the, the original Misfits rehearse. And it was the most fucking intense thing. It's still in my mind. Like I can hear like it was yesterday and it was, you know, 45 years ago. And it's just the most amazing thing. And you, you'd hear these songs and you're like, oh my God. Steve, that is beautiful. You know? That is and while all thing. my other friends were fucking off, like, just like hanging out, doing stupid things, I was listening to the Misfits rehearse. Dude, that's crazy. It was the best thing. Dude, that's, that's incredible. You know? and, and to see them, the resurgence with them and doing what they're doing is fantastic, you know? So, and I've been, I'm glad I've been part of a lot of those shows that I've gotten to witness and stuff. And, you know, and Glenn just keeps reinventing himself over and over because he's Glenn Danzig. And he, he doesn't like to repeat himself, but he likes to reinvent himself. And that's the best thing. You know, we did the Danzig Sings Elvis last year, and um, that went over amazing. I know we're going to do more of those. I was doing drums Love for that. that. So, and listening to him croon. Elvis, like everything's done. Kill me now. I'm good, dude. <laughs> you, you are know. you are literally part of the legacy that you once worshipped. I, I can't think of an any any cooler you. you well, are, I, dude, I, you I are look doing it. Very you. blessed and fortunate to be part of this and continue to be part of it. And uh, you know, music is my life. That's all I know. I don't know anything uh, else, and we keep going, dude. That's rad, you know. But it's great to be here. And, and great to meet you and hang and I'm so you know. glad we finally got to do this. Everyone told me that you were the man and that uh, we could match each other's energy and they were they were fucking right. Let's have a time. Let's oh, have cool. a time tonight, man. Then maybe we need to jam one day. Hell yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh. Steven, absolute pleasure to meet you. You got it, brother.